Well, it's a day of mourning, anger and uncertainty in Manchester, England after last night's terror attack which killed 22 people and injured dozens, including many children. Even now, some parents are still not sure of their children's fate. We are seeing images of the chaos that followed the bombing at the end of the Ariana Grande concert on Monday night. Fans there running out of the Manchester arena in sheer panic. ISIS has claimed responsibility for this attack. Police say a suicide bomber detonated an improvised explosive device just as the concert ended. And here's a look at one family's devastation. This is Safi Rose Russo, just eight years old, one of the children killed in the bombing. British Prime Minister Theresa May gave a scathing condemnation of the attacker. We struggle to comprehend the warped and twisted mind that sees a room packed with young children not as a scene to cherish, but as an opportunity for carnage. But we can continue to resolve to thwart such attacks in future, to take on and defeat the ideology that often fuels this violence, and if there turn out to be others responsible for this attack, to seek them out and bring them to justice. Well, police made an arrest in connection with that attack. Senior international correspondent Clarissa Ward is following the developments in Manchester. Clarissa, uh, so far at least one arrest and several raids carried out. What can you tell us? Well, Linda, that's right. We've learned that a 23-year-old was arrested in southern Manchester. We don't know any more details about this individual yet or what his role may or may not have been. But we know that he was arrested in conjunction with last night's attacks. We also know that police have carried out two raids in and around Manchester. Those raids reportedly carried out by heavily armed and armoured police, all dressed in black. At one of the locations where the raids took place, uh, there was a detonated explosion indicating, uh, sorry, a controlled explosion, I should say, indicating that police were potentially concerned about something that they had found there. Uh, and we know as well that authorities do know the identity of the lone male suicide bomber who was responsible for last night's attack. So far, they have chosen not to identify him. This is completely in keeping with standard operating procedure as authorities go about the process of trying to find out more more details about why this young man was motivated to do what he did and most importantly who may have helped him Linda because unlike some of these other lone wolf types of attacks that we've seen in the past there was a bomb used in this case a bomb that was highly effective that killed 22 people um, so police will be very concerned to try to drill down on who else may have been involved whether he made the bomb himself whether there were others that formed a part of this network you mentioned that I ISIS has claimed responsibility via its social media channels and I should just caution our viewers that ISIS are often pretty opportunistic uh, in the wakes of attacks of this nature where they're keen to kind of exploit the the chaos take credit for the carnage we've seen them do this many times before while they've said that the individual was a quote soldier of the caliphate they have not identified him they have not released any kind of a, a video involving uh, the attacker uh, nor have they said any or given any more information about him. So we should be a little bit skeptical of that claim at this stage, Linda. All right, Clarissa Ward, we will come back to you for updates on that. Thank you so much.